Hello everyone. Today's video is about if function. We all know if function is one of the most frequent function we are using in an Excel for validating the data and for conditions and as well as while building the dashboards. So knowing the if function and what's the logic behind the if function is very important to the every Excel user. In this video, I am briefly tell you about if function and what's the logic behind the if function using and as well as R functions. Okay, so before jump into the if function, we should know about and as well as R operator functions. In general, we have some operator functions in an Excel, okay, that are equal to greater than less than less than or equal to and not equal to so these are the operators which are we are going to use in an if condition so let us see how these operator functions will work and what is the output of these operator functions the operator functions equal to less than or equal to greater than not equal to so these operator functions operator functions will give output of two that are true and false okay so true means one and false means zero so all these operator conditions if we are using in an excel they are the output is only true or false okay keep in this mind in in cell A24, we have a value of 25. Similarly, in cell B24, we have a value of 25. Now, let's compare the cells between A and B. So, how we will compare? I am using is equal to function. If A cell value is equals to B cell value, it shows the output true. Got it? And if it is not equal to that means A24 is not equal to B24, it will throw false. So now these operator functions we are supposed to use in if condition. Let us see how in general an if condition will works. The basic syntax of if condition is all the function in an Excel will start with is equals to whenever if we are initiated with is equals to it in an Excel cell refers to the function. So if now here we need to give the condition. Let's the condition is C2 is greater than 25 and then after we need to give true if this condition is true what is the result? And if this condition is fails, what is the result? We need to assign here. Suppose I am saying if C is greater than 25, it's a true. So the output will show here is T. And if it is less than 25, it shows the value F. We are taking an example of students marks. Okay. Let us consider here we have a list of students and using if condition we need to find how many students are passed and how many students are failed so for the for this i am going to write an if condition and the pass mark for this one is let us consider 61 marks that means who got the marks more than 61 those are considered to be passed so the function will starts with is equals to if i am giving a logical test referring the cell b5 is greater than 60 the output value is pass else the output value will be fail okay i am pressing the enter and then after to autofill this formula i am placing this four point cursor at the corner of the cell and double clicking this formula get auto populated okay so now those who got the marks less than 60 those are considered to be fail 
so 59 and 6 56 got failed and rest of the students are got passed this is a simple example how the if function will works let me explain this formula in a flowchart manner let us see in this formula we take that b5 is greater than 60 the output here you will get the pass if the condition is true and you, the output again you will get fail if the condition is fa is false so 59 is a so b5 will get 59 here and then after the flowchart will further shows you two conditions one is true and what what's the result about fail okay so if the condition will true the output you will get is pass and if the condition is fail the output you will get is fail simply b5 is equals to 59 which doesn't satisfy the condition that is b5 greater than 60 here the condition fails so the output you are getting fail got it in the same manner we can we apply this logic for r and and logics as well let us see so here now we have one subject only here let us see if the student have multiple subjects like maths and science and and our operator so if the student is passed in the both subjects then only he will pass we are considering that person is as a passed person in that scenario we are going to use and function when we will use our function means if the fun if the student will pass either any one of these subjects let us if he passed in the maths even if he fails in the science it's okay then we are going to use our function let me explain you in detail how the r function will works so r means if any one condition will satisfy the output will be true okay the condition is not particularly about two conditions the conditions might be three or might be more than 10 conditions also okay so how this true table let us see the true table uh, for the r suppose this is the condition c1 and c2 and let us see the output so condition 1 gets satisfied that means the output is true but the condition 2 doesn't satisfy then the output is fail okay the output you are getting false even though you get the output true why because in these two conditions one condition gets satisfied so the output get true when this uh, R operator will throws the false in R condition you will get the false if and only if the both are all the conditions get false then only the output is false if the both conditions are true then the output will be true okay so we need to keep this point in mind that to get the output false in an R condition only if all the conditions get false okay then only the output get fa false otherwise you will get the result true okay let us see this implementation of R so in Excel uh, how this would be start means uh, logical operators it starts with is equals to and then after brackets will open how many conditions you are giving you need to mention here that's it suppose I have b5 should be greater than uh, 60 marks and then after c5 is greater than 60 marks okay so this is a multiple conditions we are giving okay now we need to include this formula in if okay so how we will give that one if just write down this formula over here okay now this r b5 greater than 60 
or C5 greater than 60 okay give a comma the students are considered to be pass else fail simple logic very easy to understand let's implement this in an excel okay just write down here is equals to first time write down the r let us see what's the output actually r will give okay the logic one p5 greater than 60 comma c5 greater than 60 okay it gives true or false only okay now i want to show uh, the output as whether it is pass or fail if the condition is true the output will be pass okay so for that now i am going to write if function if here this result get true then student is considered to be pass else consider to be fail got it very simple so all these students are get passed so we we already discussed when we will get fail in an r condition uh, sorry fa false in an r conditions means if and only if all these two conditions get uh, get false then only the output get false okay so now what i am doing is uh, for aditya I am changing his mark 56 and 55 both these marks are less than 60 so now I am getting fail got it now let us see the end operation okay so for end operation end operation things to need to keep mind is if all the conditions c1 c2 or c3 so on if all the conditions are true then only the output will be true okay suppose c1 is true and c2 is get true then the output is true okay if c1 is true and c2 is false the output you are getting here is false if c1 get false and c2 get true even though what's the condition in and operator the both the conditions should be true then only you will get the output is true again you will get the false condition both are false even though you get the false condition okay so we need to keep in mind so now if the both the students b5 if a student b5 and c5 both are getting greater than 60 then only we will get the output true okay if this is true and this is true then only we will get the true if any one of these conditions fail you will get the output as false okay let's implement this in an excel so and operator is equals to and so give how many logics you have this should be greater than 60 and the next one is also supposed to be greater than 60 close the bracket let us see so both are false even though signs if he get 62 he get the false but if you see if you observe in our condition it shows pass why because in our condition any one get true it's enough but for and it's not like that both the conditions should be satisfied okay now you uh, we implemented the and function okay now let's add if condition before this
and then after mention a syntax pass then after fail got it so to auto populate this formula just place the cursor at the corner of this cell and double click it see if you observe these cells these are not maintaining the criteria so they get fail but if you see in an R condition they are showed as pass okay so this is the major difference between end function and R function and this is the one of the simplest example that everyone get easily understand the if function how it will works in an excel with the combination of end and R uh, logical operators. We need your support please like and share this video. Thank you friends thanks for watching this video.